My name is Carrie Brown and I am a social studies teacher at Pattonville Heights Middle School and I have been asked to speak with all of you about what you can expect your child to be doing this coming fall uh, at the middle school level. We have this new tool Zoom that we're able to use and right now there's about 80 staff members that are getting trained on this right now and the rest of the district will be trained on this in just a few weeks. I'm one of those teachers that are starting to learn Zoom and I am super excited. And the reason why is we really don't want to change the way that we teach um, to match the technology that we have. We want the technology to kind of line up with what it means to be a teacher. And Zoom is able to do this. It's fantastic. So let me give you a couple scenarios that you can expect your, your child to like go through being in the Zoom environment with a teacher. Number one is each day when they, like in middle school for example, your, your child will have seven class periods and what they'll do is they will log into Zoom to start their class period for attendance just like in a regular class. I'm going to be able to see all of your lovely child's faces right there on the computer screen and from there I can actually deliver content to your child but not just in a lecture format. So behind me, and hopefully we'll get the visual effect right here, behind me I'm going to actually be able to put up what today's lesson is for your child to be able to see. And then for example, let's say I want them to discuss for three minutes what they think, um, something that they think made the Mayans advanced. I can actually now push your child into a virtual classroom or a virtual group with another child and they can interact face to face and have that discussion. So I can have maybe 10 small discussions going on in this virtual environment and I then have the ability to bounce back and forth between all of these different groups, come in, listen to what they're saying, interact with them. They'll have the ability to you know, tackle concepts together and then I can pull them back into the whole group setting just like in the classroom but now in Zoom where each group can report back to the rest of the other groups things that they're learning. I can then send them to a different group to work with somebody else and so all of that socialization that you get that's so important in middle school though it's not going to be as effective as like being in person in a regular classroom it sure is better than having just a kid work independently on work by themselves at home. The next thing that you can expect is to have a unified or a uniform platform that you can see all of your child's work. So everybody in the district now, at least at the middle school level, is going to be moving to a platform called Canvas. Let me give you a couple things that we can do on Canvas that we couldn't do on the other platforms. I'm reading your child's essay, for example. And instead of sitting down like in a regular classroom and talking about the essay with your child, I can actually take a video of myself, discuss your child's work as I'm going through the assignment and send that video to your child. So your child isn't just going to see some kind of comment written down, they actually can see the, the teacher you know, discussing the information with the child. Your child then on Canvas can actually quickly, just by the push of a button, send a video back. You know, Mr. Brown, I had a question about this. Mr. Brown, I had a question about this. So instead of having to type everything, they can actually send a personalized video to me that I can see what their concerns are and I can, we can go back and forth like that. What's great with this is the grades that are on Canvas will automatically get pushed over to PowerSchool. So what you can do is you can log on to your child's Canvas account and you can see everything that your child sees in all of the different classes that they have. So if you're wondering, hey, what are you learning today? What's going on today? What's due today? Canvas has a calendar that syncs. So you can actually look at their calendar and see when every assignment is due. The scoring guides that we create and how we grade the child, you can see those scoring guides. You can see what the criteria are. You can then see how your child's performing. Um, it's fantastic. So I'm going to give you a couple um, pieces of advice on things that you can do both as a parent and as a student to get ready for this coming school year. Parents will start with you. On August 24th or the week of August 24th, you need to make sure that you can get into the school and pick up anything that you need for your child to get started in the school year. So middle school, that's going to be to collect your iPad, charger, things like that. Parents, it's going to be really important that you make sure that your child has a charged iPad every day to start the class period. All right, They're going to be not necessarily on that all the time, but that's how they log into their classes every day for attendance and to find out what the work is for the day. So those things need to be functional. If you don't have internet at home, okay, Pattonville can provide you a hotspot to have internet at your house. That is a must. You have to make sure that you're ready to go with that. Okay, Students, you need to make sure that your iPad is charged every day. And you also need to make sure that you're getting up in time for your classes. So your basic school day from 8 to 3, just like how it normally is, is going to be in effect this coming school year. You've got to log in your classes every day and learn from your teachers.